Hello again, YouTubers. This is your host, Black Samurai 7. I just want to make a video in response to a viral video that I saw on Facebook. Um, I saw this video um, earlier this past weekend, and I have to say, this was another shocking video. And this is and the subject that I have been making quite a few videos on. My video, my Larissa Barrows video, my William Godbolt video, my Juan Lopez video. Then you all should know what I'm about to say. This is going to be another weak beta male simp story. And this story right here, this is a, a video about another man who he just didn't want to t come into terms with the fact that his relationship has ended. His relationship has ended and his girlfriend did not want to talk to him no more. That's what happens. When you're cutting ties with people, don't talk to the person. Don't talk to the person that you're cutting ties to. You don't do that. And this girl right here, who, whoever he was dating, she came to terms with... She respected the fact she don't want to talk to this, to this piece of shit no more. She don't. And instead of just taking this like a man, take, take loss like a man. Take loss like a man. And what I mean by that is is realizing that it's over and move on with your life. Move on with your life and you're going to get into something. You're going to get into something else. You're going to get into something else. And he just, he just didn't understand that. And this is what he did. His, um, the mother to his, to his baby, he, she, who lives states away from him, she decided to take that long distance, that long distance travel over to see him. She took the baby with him. And she thought that maybe, you know what, maybe seeing, seeing his child, seeing his child could probably help, could help realize, you know what, I may not, he can understand and come to terms with himself and come into tune with himself and saying, you know what, I may not have a woman in my life, but I have a child to raise. I have a child to raise. And as I'm raising my child, maybe, maybe something like that will happen in the future. Maybe I'll end up meeting a woman, meeting a nice woman who has a child, or meeting with the woman who has the patience of dealing with children, who loves children and wants to have children of their own. She, he didn't understand that. He didn't understand any of this. So he decided to grab this little innocent baby boy by, the, by its neck, by its neck, and it seems to me what he was saying was he was yelling at the baby like he was yelling at his, like he's yelling at his ex-girlfriend. Like he's yelling at his ex-girlfriend, you want to leave me and all that other shit. So he took the baby, held the baby by its neck, and slammed it right onto a bed. Oh my god. Most of these men aren't men. And I mean that. And I have to say, this man right here, he's not a man. He's a simp. He's a simp. And not only that, most of these simps... They want to hold on to their relationship like it's a goddamn teddy bear. Not just a teddy bear, like it's a, a cat or a dog or something. Oh my freaking God, man. You're going to do all this shit because a woman left you. Oh my God, man. There are so many things this man could have done. Like I said earlier, like I said earlier on, just realize I have a kid to raise and I'll end up meeting a woman someday. I'll end up meeting a woman someday, maybe a woman out on the street. Or I can just, he could have just went on an online dating service, like use the dating service that I use. Go on eHarmony. eHarmony works. That's the best dating site to use, I'm going to have to say. From my experience, from me and my fiance, we met on there. Use eHarmony. Or use eHarmony. He could have used Tinder, uh, Christian Mingle, or, or something. He could have done something. He can't just say that there's nothing that he could have done. He could have done something. He could have done something about that. He could have just, just find some way. Find some way to cope and deal with the stress. And deal with the stress of a breakup. He could have called one of his he could have called one of his friends. He could have called his mother. He could have called his father. He could have called somebody. He could have went to a therapist. He could have done something. He could have watched some Netflix. He could have went out to just go have a beer. Go have a beer. Uh, some vodka or something. He could have done something to deal with this. But no, he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. All he did was just took his anger out on the first person he saw. And who did he took his anger out on? 
an innocent baby. And let me tell you, and this is going to be my word of advice to all you people out there who are watching me. This is how you take your anger. This is probably the good, the best approach of taking your taking out your anger. Take your anger out on the person involved with the problem. But the person don't want to talk to your ass no more. Then move your ass on in life. Move your ass on in life. Because you're going to get into some good and better situations if you just realize that and just realize to try to make the best of a bad situation. Make the best of a bad situation by being involved with the people who care about you. And the mother of his child, she cared. She cared enough by bringing this baby over to see him. But no, it seems to me, and I hope, and I'm sure, by seeing this video and her posting this video, I hope and pray she won't bring this kid around again. She won't bring this kid around again. Because he messed that up. He messed that up for himself. This mother right here, she didn't do nothing wrong, I have to say. In my opinion, I don't think she did anything wrong. Uh, and I hope she called the cops right after making the video. After making the video, right after making the video, make the video and take it to the cops. Make the video and take it to the cops. And I hope she did that. She take this video to the cops. And then the cops came right over there and they took them. They took them away. And that's what I hope for. I hope for, for this case, that this man goes to jail. Not just go to jail. He goes to prison. Go to prison for life. For child abuse. All because a woman left him. And I hope it'll be just that. Now, that's all I got to say about this. Feel free to like, comment, and favorite my video. Or feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later.